I'm going to say it's very boring things, okay? I want to establish the goal that I use UDMeet, and I know that the UDMeet is our weapon to send any kind of message. Now, when I send out the message, it is uh, actually going through a UDP, I mean, no, no, you can, I mean unreliable data transfer, because in the, in the real world, everything can be corrupt, everything can be lost. I don't know why it suddenly is lost. Now, I'm going to guarantee the message delivery by sending extra messages, okay? Just like that, I, I send you something, you don't send me reply. I cannot assume that you receive my, my, my thing, okay? So then I will ask for some extra message. Now, in order to uh, have an extra message, I will, I mean, uh, basically I establish uh, some states inside my client and uh, server, okay? And I, last time I said that, our application only focuses on sender sending things to receiver, okay? We won't have a client or a server being a sender and a receiver at the same time. Later on, after I, I told you what happened, you will understand why we cannot have this. Okay, so can I skip this stuff? You know what is FSM, right? The yeah, FSM, uh, this is a start state, start state with an in, in, degree, in degree one, okay, at least one, okay. And a and final state, a double circle, I want to skip it, okay? And you go home and read by yourself. And then I will have a different version of my models. Usually I will do through like this. I will tell you there is a model. Then I will tell you that model have a bug. We want to patch that bug and then we evolve into another model, okay? So we have uh, up to uh, three or four models, and then we go for um, even more high-speed network, then those models will fail, okay? So uh, we call it a reliable data transfer, or I, I usually rename it, I call it really dumb, really dumb transfer, okay? Or really, really dumb uh, transfer, I don't know what I mean. Re really dumb, okay? So uh, what is a UDP? If I write UDP as a finite state machine, now remember, you are implementing something in the blue area, okay? So blue area is your program that you are put in. And what is your surface target? You will serve application layer and also serve network layer, okay? So that means that you have, a, you have your left hand serving one guy, right hand serving another guy. So in this uh, picture, you will see something interesting. What is that? From the center point of view, center point of view, it always has data flow flowing from the application to the network, okay? So then this guy, the in incoming thing, will always be a uh, segment is ready, but from the application layer. Application layer sent me something, okay? And I promise application layer that I will deliver it out. Okay, so then I will use unreliable data transfer uh, way to deliver it, to send it out, and at the same time, in the receiver side, receiver side will serve the serve the uh, client or the server, I don't know what it said, okay? But we sign in the application layer. The way I serve it is receive something from the network, okay? So I would say wait for call, wait for call from network layer. Okay, I wait for home grab layer network layer, give me something, and that means that when packet arrive. Packet arrive, and the network layer network layer give me the thing, and I tell network layer that, okay, I will deliver it to an application layer, and how to do it, very simple, extract the data part and deliver it. Okay, so this is uh, what UDP is doing. And whenever the incoming packet is corrupt, I will ignore it, okay? If uh, I mean here, okay, the, the packet I'm receiving is gone, I will receive is gone, and here we won't care when I deliver it whether the, the guy is uh, corrupted or not, okay? Then we try to handle one thing. What is the thing that we want to handle? Corruption, okay? You know how to detect corruption. We will use uh, the checksum algorithm. Checksum algorithm tell me that, why? Click in here and become that sound. Okay, do I have any problem here? Oh, okay. So, uh, what is it? Evolution. Evolution is I want to support corruption, and check some people don't tell me there's a corruption. If I have a corruption, I decide to uh, send a message, 
like a, I'm, a, I'm a receiver, okay? Some sender send me something. And I know that that guy is in a clean form, okay, no corruption. Then I will send one thing called acknowledgement or app, okay? And last time you see her, you see the, the crack joke from her, Mark Zuckerberg. He said, that, oh, QDK is so app. He is talking about this, app, okay? This acknowledgement is a piece of message, okay? In real implementation, it never carry any payload. Why? Because it's not an application message. So no payload, only the header fields, okay? Header fields, the TCP or UDP header. Assume that we can embed information called acknowledgement. And acknowledgement say that I acknowledge what you send me. If I don't acknowledge you, that means that it is a, I mean, not, not, not acknowledge you, but the acknowledgement is connected acknowledgement. That is a bad guy. You send me a bad guy, corrupted, okay? And then I will tell you that it is corrupted, and then this is set aside, okay? Now, set aside is no longer easy to implement. It has a state waiting for things from upper layer that is from the application layer. It is also a state that not waiting for upper layer data, but waiting for the other side send me ACK. Okay, I know ACK or NACK, doesn't matter. Okay, so the, the things work like this. I wait for some data coming in, and now I have data coming in, I will send a packet to the network and wait for ACK or NACK. If the NACK or ACK that come in, that come in, it so happen that, what is that? It's NACK. Then you said it's corrupted. You tell me that you just received something corrupted. What should I do? I wish was me this guy. I wish was me this guy. So that's why the TCP implementation involves something, involves storage. Involves memory storage to store what I have just said. If I forget what I have just said, then I cannot replay. There's a, there's a wish transmission. Okay? Now this is important. And later on in, in, a, in a later, uh, Footprint. We want to uh, have a higher footprint. Then maybe we have to cache a uh, hundred packet or even a uh, one gigabyte of memory there in order to cache all the things that not being acknowledged. Now let's say I send out the things I wish transmitted. If I have a NACK, what if I miss ACK? Now good. That means that I can uh, transform from this state uh, transfer. Okay, transfer from this state to the to the case that I serve the application layer again. Yeah. Now when I search the application layer, I can save it, discard this data. And save it, discard this data. Why? Because there is no need for visual transmission anymore. That guy already received the data. Okay? So this is something that I did not include in the FSM, the storage itself. Any questions? If no, I will go to the receiver side. The receiver is easy, right? Only one stage. Every time it's waiting for the network to tell me something. And the network only delivered two things. One is something that I, I expect. I expect you to give me data. And this is not a retransmission, okay? Or I just send you NACK and I wait for retransmission, okay? So there are two cases here, two cases here, uh, one is Corruption, I detect this corruption, and no matter if it's a first time I detect corruption and then I send NACK, or I already send an NACK and I wait for retransmission, I put it in the same case. In other cases, of course, it's a clean packet. The clean packet comes in, I will deliver it to the data to the application layer and case codes. Of course, before case code, I will send out an ACK packet. Any questions? Easy, right? Just send replies. Now, what is the problem? Okay, so this is an animation, okay? Uh, if you have print and story, it's just like film, okay? Yeah, for many, many, many things. Now, what is the problem? The problem is, yeah, this protocol sucks. What is the problem with this protocol? The protocol is, now this is sender, sender FSM. Why I have an arrow saying that gets stuck in the states? Don't forget that. Corruption is only one of the problem, okay? 
I said that the ACK and the AACK, okay, are just sent out. But I never say that what happened if this guy itself also floated. And that's what I mean. I said the data, the data can be corrupted. That's one way. Now, how about another way? Another way can also be corrupted. Now, if in, in another way it is also corrupted, what should you do? Hmm? Should you do the new transmission? Yeah, let's say I I send you something. I send you a I send you a letter. And the letter, I don't know why it's corrupted, okay? The phone corrupted, maybe being being five by a mouse, okay? Yeah, lost something, okay? Then you tell me that, oh, the, the, the letter is corrupted. You send me something, okay? And the reply that you send to me is also corrupted. So what should you do? Get stuck? No. Retransmission, should you do the retransmission? Think about it. This is a philosophic problem. Yeah, really philosophic, not, not anything about data network. Okay? I send you something, and I don't know whether that, got, that thing is corrupted. And then you send me a reply. Because the protocol asks you to send a reply. And a reply can be a good reply, can be a bad reply, or a corrupted reply. If it's corrupted, I don't know whether it's a good reply or a bad reply. If I retransmit, what will happen? Now we have two cases. If the ACK itself, okay, sent to me is corrupted, but originally it is an NACK, negative NACK, then I should be transmit. Okay, no problem. Now how about the original ACK is a good ACK, and then I will transmit. What will happen? The big problem. This is a very big problem. You are duplicating another message that is unnecessary. Okay, so let's say I say to hello. Then eventually the op opposite side under this story will receive hello twice. And you consider it as correct. Okay, so originally I said one hello, then by the end you receive hello hello. Or hello 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 because that, that process can go on indefinitely. this way. Okay, the corruption can happen repeatedly. Now that means that this Thing sucks. I cannot go on. If the receiving ACK or NAC itself is corrupted, and I don't know what to do, I cannot do retransmission because it is not right. So they say, they, they say I get stuck here. So that's why I said it's a philosophical problem, not implementation problem. Okay? You are welcome to do the retransmission, okay? But you are repeating the application layer stuff. Get this point? Now, how to upgrade it, okay? To upgrade it, the message itself need to patch, you need to be patched, okay? I need to patch something inside the message being delivered and the thing is facilitate one thing, okay? What is the keyword, uh, keyword needed, okay? To facilitate how to differentiate if I really do the retransmission, okay? How to differentiate that message is a retransmission or not? Okay, here, previous case, previous case, okay. Previous case here, I'll, I'll receive NACK, then I will reply the, oh, I shouldn't open this, uh, open this, okay. So once I receive NACK, is NACK, then I will send the data out. It is because I trust the other guy when it delivers the message that it won't be corrupted. Now, if that's the case, then I should say that whether this is a retransmission or not. Okay? And the track is, yeah, give an ID. Okay? Every number, I put an ID there. Okay? If I have an ID, then the, the other end, when it receives my packet, will know that, oh, this guy is repeating the last message. Because uh, last time I received an ID number 10. Then you send me another number 10, I know that you are doing retransmission. If I received number 10 previously, and then later on I receive uh, the number 11, that means that you are not retransmitting, but you give me something new, okay? Oh, why is there any things here? The, the speaker is bad. Uh, what, what is going on? Okay, so this is the way, and we have a name for it. 
or sequence number. It's a sequence. You won't repeat the number. Because the number itself means I back here is of the outer I, and then I plus one and I plus two. Only when you find corruption, you need to repeat it. Okay? So with this, we can satisfy our previous uh, problem. Satisfy the problem, okay? The problem, what is the problem? Is when I send some retransmission, let's say I want to retransmit. I need to tell the other end that, okay, I will transmit the data to you. And how to implement it? Let's say I will have a sequence of zero to begin the story. And the other end, receive it. Clean, then send to ACK. ACK deliver to the sending side without any problem. Storage goes on. After I send out data zero, I will send data one. Now, after I send out data one, okay, bad news come. Uh, of course, it's artificial bad news, okay? I s declare that this ACK is corrupted, okay? The sender of the ACK, that means the receiver side, don't know about this, right? Only the sender know about this. So the sender receives something, and what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. So to play safe, to play safe, I don't know whether you receive or not. To play safe, I send you the same packet again. Okay, I send you the same packet again. Now the problem comes, here we receive, uh, you are talking about a sequence one again. Okay, why I receive sequence one again? Now I can infer the reason. I can infer the reasons that you should have received an ACK which is corrupted. Then you will transmit something to me. Okay, you will transmit that thing to me, I ignore you. Why I ignore you? Because I already received it previously. And I believe that this sequence number one data is the same as this sequence number one data. So I can ignore you by not delivering this data to the upper layer. Yet, I need to send you ACK. Because I know that previous ACK you have lost it or you have corrupted it, okay? So I repeat this, this ACK for you in order to complete the story, okay? Wow, can you follow? Easy, right? Yeah, when, when a number goes to one million, that's not, e not easy anymore. And with this little patch, with this little patch, the entire story becomes whole. Look at the uh, sender FSM. Wow, colorful. Uh, don't worry, okay? It's just a mirror, okay? It's just a mirror. What is a mirror? The mirror is this is about ACK, this is about ACK, this is about data, waste from uh, above, that means about application layer, and this is also about data, okay? So this is a mirroring, this is a mirroring this, this is a mirroring this. Okay, so I can only have talk about half the story and the other half follows. Okay, so for the sender, the sender do this. I start the journey using the sequence number zero. So I will say from core zero, from core zero above, from above, okay? So the zero data come. So I send a sequence number zero plus the data. So that's why I said send data with sequence number zero. When sequence number zero get out, Okay, I will not serve the next data until a valid ACK comes in. Let's say this is a valid ACK, this is valid ACK, then I will move to the next uh, stage. This stage will receive data from the application layer and want to deliver the next packet out. And when the packet is ready, I will use sequence number one and then oscillate it. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. Okay, so this is a, a, a simple solution. So I don't use silver solution to work. Okay, this is nothing to stop you to use an increasing sequence. Okay, just zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, but the state down will be the whole. What's next? What if in this zero stage, I receive NACK? No problem. I have said NACK, that means that the other end don't know what I'm talking about because my data is corrupt, I will transmit. I will translate. Okay? But can you see the retransmission? Can you see any retransmission there? Where? Yeah, my cursor. 
you have a curse there. The retransmission is here. Okay? And here it's not corrupt. Then I said easy case. So, so do the thing because I, I can uh, deliver, del I mean, move to this state in order to deliver the next packet. So this is uh, the mirroring, so I can uh, stop talking about it. Let's move to the receiver. Receiver, wow, colorful, huh? It becomes uh, just like, I don't know what I said. Uh, uh, to me, it's just like some, uh, some electric field there, okay? Yeah. Magnetic field, like, like it feels the way I said. Then let's talk about this. Also mirroring, okay, why? Because I first expect that I will receive data zero, and then data one, and oscillating, Back to data zero, data one, data zero, data one. So it's just a mirroring, but with this mirroring, we only have a one, two, three, four, five, six, six edges with six different uh, reason for the transition. So let's say the first reason I receive something good, of course, uh, not corrupted, and the sequence number is zero. Good, I move to the next stage and I wait for data zero, data number one. But before I wait for it, I send out ACK. What if I wait for data zero, but it's corrupted? No problem. I set up NACK. Now, what if I suddenly inside the state zero, but I receive sequence number one? What is the meaning? I receive sequence number one. I'm in a zero state. Why I receive a wrong sequence number? Okay. We can go back a little bit. Here we can explain this. I expect zero, good, I receive zero. Then I next expect number one, good, I receive number one. Then oscillate, I expect zero again. And suddenly, while I'm expecting zero, I receive one. Here means that the retransmission, okay, is done by the sender. And that's why, I follow this diagram, I follow this logic. If I receive something unexpected, I will send ACK, okay? I said, you see, of course, it's, I have to adopt to the current situation. The situation is, if it is corrupted, then it's an ACK. If it's okay, it's an ACK. Is this because of the previous uh, improvement that I have said for? Okay? Any problem? Any problem? Yeah, it's getting boring. And easy, you can easily lose something else. Okay? And I love to call it uh, stop and wait protocol. Or I should say it's a ping pong ball, ping pong uh, protocol, right? It's really very ping pong. Okay, I'm a sender. I start the game. One ping pong ball are going to the receiver side. The receiver side send me a reply. So on the table, always one ball, right? You cannot see another ball. Okay, always one ball. But I don't know why suddenly a ping pong ball get get corrupted. Okay, I, I cannot describe what is the meaning of corrupted data ball. Yeah. What is that? Oh, I suddenly change color, okay? Yeah, oh, I suddenly change color. Oh, what, what should I do, okay? Yeah, think about it, really. There's only one ball in the table. You play with that ball, and that ball never lost. It will change color only, okay? Now, what if, I don't know why, okay? We enter in a different universe, okay? Suddenly, while you are playing that ping pong, ping pong ball suddenly lost, okay? In front of you, where is it, okay? Suddenly it's lost. Ah, then it is an interesting game, right? Uh, but uh, before before it, I will introduce some other patches. Okay, some people don't like the idea. Okay, some people that is some people invent this uh, protocol, invent this internet, don't like the idea of uh, having an ACK. Okay, a small patch is they want to get rid of NACK. Hateful name. Okay, what is the meaning of her? Negative uh, NACK. So they improve a bit, improve a bit. How to improve a bit? Their term is called duplicate acknowledgement. I will duplicate some acknowledgement, and that means what? That means what does it mean of duplicate acknowledgement? It means it try to also introduce the idea of sequence number into acknowledgement as well. Okay. So let's take a look at the diagram. Okay, now I introduce the same idea, and idea says that if I send you ACK with a number zero, that means that I tell you that mm, I receive number zero plainly, no problem, no corruption. But what will happen if I receive number one 
beta peroxide of course I don't know if it's level, it's level one. I expect it's level one, but it's corrupted. Okay? Here I will use a duplicated Deutschmann. Okay? What does this statement mean? This statement means that up to now, the only good data that I received is a, is sequence zero. Okay? So this is very high level interpretation, right? The data that I received up to now is only up to sequence zero. So does it also apply to here? Yes. I received a data zero claim. Then I said that up to now, I received clean data up to data zero. And you say everything you know, one but corrupted, still telling you that I up to now, I received ACK, which is clean up to sequence zero. So that means what? That means you didn't receive sequence one. You didn't receive sequence one, I repeat sequence one. Okay, but the story is not easy, right? The story will be uh, corrupted ACK this time. Okay, so when I receive ACK, it is corrupted, but the sender don't know what you're talking about, okay? I missed the information. Hey, what is a sequence of clean data that you have received up to now? You cannot say anything. So the easy patch is which must fail. Okay, and after the transmission, I can tell you that, oh, okay, uh, that means that uh, the receiver received that previously my ACK is corrupted. I do it for you again for free, okay? So tell me that mm, up to now, my clean data received so far is sequence one, okay? So this is the ping pong ball thing, okay? And uh, big state diagram improve. So I don't want to cover all the edges, okay? And uh, there is a bug alert, okay? The bug alert is uh, only uh, happen a uh, very, very few things, okay? The thing is, I said that the sequence number of the ACK means that this is mean the data I received so far is clean only up to a certain number, okay? Now, there's a bug alert, or I should say this is logic bug, okay? Not a technical bug. The bug alert is, what if the first data is corrupted? Can you say anything like uh, previously I said? Previously I said the first data is good, so I say that up to now I received clean data up to sequence number zero. But what if this the first what if the case that the first guy is corrupted? Can I use the following logic? No. I should only say that up to now I received data. Right? If it is corrupted. But there is no such message for us to deliver this message. So in this diagram, we will do some uh, really abusing the idea. Okay, the idea is I said sequence number one. Okay? So what is the meaning now? The meaning now is doesn't mean that up to now I only receive data which is clean up to a sequence number one because I don't have previous thing. That means that I'm overloading this idea, okay? So that's why I said it's popular, it's more popular, okay? Any questions? Now, then we will play ping pong, ping pong game and the ball will suddenly lost. While we're playing a oh, very, very good game. Okay? So the input is the ball, okay? Where, what will happen the network is lost it. You lost the ball, suddenly. Okay? And when you lost the ball, say you are a, a, a very poor guy. Yes, because they are two players, okay? Poor guys. You have only one ball. You don't have money to buy the next ball. Then you have to wait forever. Right? What is the ball? Okay, I can find it. Okay? And well, if, if that's the case, I don't really want to wait forever. Actually, I have many balls. Okay, I have many balls, I can uh, start another game. I'm starting another game. But what can you do over this? What does it mean of what can you do? Now, first of all, I only describe it as a big one ball style. Because I didn't differentiate these two players. Because these two players have different roles, right? One is the sender, one is the receiver. Now I give you a question, you answer me, and then we will solve this lecture. The question is, of course we know that we don't want to waste forever. So I will install timer. 
current resource timer. Let's say the timer is one second. So one second is very long, right? In a network. I install a timer, one second. If I cannot receive something after one second, I will say that that port is lost. Someone has a total retransmission. Okay? Is it clear? Then this might go. My question is, who installed the timer? Who do the retransmission? Wow. Then you can discuss with the neighbor. Who installed the timer? Who in charge of retransmission? Now the one in the one installed timer don't imply the one involved in transmission, or I don't know more, it's a trigger. It doesn't mean they're the same guy. Which one? Or uh, the, 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 the phrase that I say may be a bullshit, okay? You can treat it as a bullshit. Who is so timer? Yeah. Oh, first of all, the timer, timer thing you think it makes sense, right? Yeah, there's no other way, okay? We cannot say, ah, I lost the point. Technical, call you, ah, I lost the point, please use a bit. No, okay? We want a timer. Automatic control, okay? We think that, yeah, just wait until I do a short quote. We think that the timer in store, okay? should be on the center side. Good? Okay? Uh, I'll feel. Who think that it is on the receiver side? Okay, so only two. Okay, you, you guys are not the majority. Or three. Okay, three in the receiver side. Okay, next question. Next question is, I know which which side I should install the timer. Now, who start the retransmission? Center side. Okay, still, still those hands. Okay? You, you, you said that this is a retransmission as timer is on the receiver side, but you believe that who we'll trigger is the sender. Good, okay? I, I wish to ask you why, okay? And another way is you trigger the retransmission on the receiver side. Is it ahead? Yeah, the, you, you too, you too, you too are the fans of this approach. Okay, so let me uh, discuss with you uh, what should we do. Okay, so we have center side sending data. Sending data. Let's imagine it's like this, okay? I install the timer on the receiver side. Then how can I stop the timer? Think about it. Is there any way to stop the timer? If it's receiver side, I cannot start the timer once I put up the computer, right? Then I will always call, hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Always say, come on, baby, come on, baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry. Right? Yo, you cannot do this, right? <laughs> so you should you should have a have a style, right? Not always say that you are hungry. You need a trigger. What is trigger? If it is on the center side, a uh, receiver side. What is the trigger? The act though, you are the receiver side. Should it be the data, right? When the first data comes in, you trigger the timer, right? If it is on the receiver side. Now, you start the timer. You start the timer. And then the timer is to detect whether the ACK has been received by the sender, right? Problem comes. What if I only want to send one piece of data? Then the story is very, very interesting. You install this, okay? You send me something. Good, I start the timer. And I send you an ACK. Then I will start time one second. You didn't send me anything. Okay, I send you another ACK. You don't send me anything. I keep on sending you an ACK, okay? So as if the other side is very busy. I oh, what happened? What, why are you always pushing me for data? Okay, I don't have any data anymore. Okay, so that means that installing on the receiver side is a bad approach. You you are, you can do this, you can do this, but you're wasting a lot of resources. Now, what if I install it on the center side? So, what is the trigger? 
for a trigger of the timer, or post sending of the first piece of data, right? I send the first piece of data, going on the network, I count for one second. If I cannot receive any replies, what should I do? Yeah, send an SMS, well, give me something, you know, okay? We send, okay? We transmission, we transmission of the same piece of data. Until when? When I should stop the timer? Or should I should not scare? We said what? We said ATK, right. We said ATK, then I can stop the timer. Now, what if I only have one piece of data? Will I increase the, I mean, will, will I introduce any problems? <laughs> then we, we, will, we will be clean, right? We won't introduce any problem. The timer is on the center side, send the trigger the timer, and also stop the timer at the time I receive the ACK. What if I receive a bad ACK? Then I don't stop the timer, I reset it. We, we count it for one second because I receive a bad ACK, I retransmit. And because of that retransmit, I reset the timer to another one second. And after that one second, nothing comes, send it again. Okay? So will the receiver be the one who is responsible for the retransmission? Now it seems that it's not possible. The receiver responsible for the retransmission then become very crazy, right? That guy would keep on saying that I am hungry, give me something, give me something. No, sorry. I only have one bread, okay? Eat that. Okay, task dismissed. Uh, we will have a big trunk of you can see this. Big trunk of state diagram in order to describe what I have just said. Okay? So in the coming double lesson, you need coffee. See you on Monday. <laughs>